Moving to Las Vegas. Five reasons why I love living in Las Vegas. And that's what I'm talking about today. And I'm starting right now. everyone welcome to my youtube channel i am angela o'hare a local las vegas realtor and i like to cover a lot of things that is related to this awesome city that we know and love as las vegas a lot of people come and go in this city it's a very transient city but i'm going to go over why the five reasons why i i love living in Las Vegas. <laughs> it, it may not matter to you, but I have been a lifelong resident for at least 25 plus years. I've lost track as to how many years I have actually lived in this city. I lived here as a kid from 1977 to 83. That says that I'm very old. And then also from 92 to present, with a four year stint to college in um, Alabama and a two year stint in Arizona. So again, that's at least 30 years almost. But anyway, that's enough about that. People think of Las Vegas as just the strip and Las Vegas is far from that. There's so much other amenities for you, your family, for everyone to enjoy besides the strip. I haven't even been on the strip in probably like 10 years. I avoid that place like the plague. There's so many other things that you can do here in this city besides go and party on the strip. So I'm gonna go over the five reasons why I love living in Las Vegas. And my number one reason is the weather. You can't beat this weather. With over 300 days of sunshine year round, the Las Vegas weather is phenomenal. I cannot stand cloudy days. I mean, I like it. I like rain every once in a while, but not every day. I can't, I couldn't live in Seattle or Washington or Oregon because of that. Regardless of how beautiful it is, I need sunshine. And minus the three months out of the year when it's like 100 plus degrees here, the weather's quite bearable right now we're in January and it's in the 60s and 70s. And they'll be that way for some time. So the summer is the only time that's not bearable. However, the rest of the year is beautiful weather. I love it. This winter was a very mild winter. It maybe got in the lows 40s at night in the 30s. Uh, and now with the January being here, it's in the 60s and 70s. So the weather here is fantastic and it is a dry heat there's very little humidity a lot of people don't like that they do have to put on a lot of lotion however i can't stand the humidity i lived in florida and that was not fun <laughs> number two reason is there is no state income tax seriously there is no state income tax in the state of nevada and that is an awesome thing to have there's only a few states in the country, in the United States, that does not have state income tax. And the only two that I can think of offhand is Texas and Florida, and then Vegas. So who wants to live in Texas with their weather, and then Florida weather? So Vegas is, has it all, <laughs> just kidding. But the only downside for not having state income taxes, our sales tax is a little higher, and I think it's at 8.25%. Um, but I would take that any day. And another thing with having no state income taxes, our property taxes tend to be a lot lower than most homes. It's typically under 1% of the value of your home. So that's huge savings. So living in Vegas, you are saving a ton of money just by living here. And number three is there actually is life outside the city. You have Red Rock National Canyon, you have Lake Mead Recreational Area, Hoover Dam, Mount Charleston, Valley of Fire. California is only a four or five hour drive. Sedona is a four hour drive. So we're centrally located to a lot of fun outside activities. 
If you like to hike, we have Red Rock National Canyon. If you like to ski, Mount Charleston in the winters. If you like to water ski or go fishing, Lake Mead. So we have it all and they're all within an hour's drive, if not less, depending on where you live in the city. Las Vegas has you covered if you are the outdoorsy type. And Red Rock Canyon is absolutely beautiful. I love the mountains. <laughs> I'm a mountain girl or a desert girl. I love the desert. That's why I like living here. And the number four reason is there's always something to do here. There's something going on. Either there's concerts, events, um, ball games, hockey. Now with the Raiders coming this year, you're going to have football, but there's always a plethora of things to do. And the cool thing is, is this is a city that never sleeps. Everything, not everything, a lot of things stay open 24 seven. I remember, um, we moved to Scottsdale for two years and I hated every minute of it because everything closed early. Not that, that I'm the partying type or I like to go out, but the fact that um, there were no 24 seven Walgreens or the grocery stores weren't open. Everything closed at nine o'clock if not earlier. And I didn't like that because if my kids got sick, I was stuck until the morning time to get them something. So that's why I like living in Las Vegas with everything being open. And if I'm hungry at two in the morning, I go to a McDonald's or a Del Taco or a Taco Bell right down the street, but that rarely happens. The point is that everything is open 24 seven. And if you move out of state into another state, you get spoiled. You get used to everything being open all the time. And the number five reason why I love living in Las Vegas is the master plan communities. Las Vegas has a plethora of options for you to choose and where to live. You do have Henderson. Henderson is not part of Las Vegas. Henderson is its separate own city and it is actually the second largest city in Nevada. But that is an option for you to live. Um, the master plan communities that we have here is there's so many. There's obviously Summerlin, the lakes, uh, Piccoli Ranch, Sky Canyon, Providence, Rose Ranch, Southern Highlands. I mean, the list can go on and on and on. And there's so many fun amenities for you and your family to enjoy in these master plan communities. A lot of them have parks, recreational facilities, gyms. There's just a lot to do in these master plan communities. So people think when they move to Las Vegas, there is no life outside the strip and there is life outside the strip. I've lived here again for 25 plus years and I, I don't see myself living anywhere else. I've considered maybe moving to New Mexico, to Santa Fe, that could be a little costly. I would love to live in California, that's too expensive. The cost of living here is very reasonable and there's no state income tax. Why would I wanna to move to a state where I have to pay state taxes? It just doesn't make sense. The reason we don't have to pay state taxes is because of our tourism industry. Anyway, I hope you've liked this video, it's just short. And another perspective for someone that has lived in the Valley for a very long time. If you are thinking about um, moving to Las Vegas, I am a local realtor. I have been doing real estate for some time now and I know all the different areas in this entire Valley. You can always give me a call at 702-370-5112 or I've posted a link to a buyer form down in the description below. I'm Angela O'Hare, and I appreciate you watching today. As always, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share this with a friend, and consider subscribing to my channel if you're interested in learning everything and anything about the Las Vegas Valley. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.